my last respects to one who was a friend for over 30 years and a loyal friend and ally of the United States uh, for that period of time. However, I uh, do appreciate the opportunity this visit provides to pay a tribute at this time to President Sadat, whose uh, courage and statesmanship in many areas uh, has, I think, been an example for leaders throughout the world. At a time when uh, timidity and fear seem too often to plague leadership, uh, his refusal to abandon a friend uh, and to provide a haven for him for his last days was an inspiration for everybody. Apparently the Shah says in his memoirs to come out soon, that the, the West underestimated the impact of his of his fall, that they did not ever realize how important it would be to the West. Is that accurate? Well, what has happened since the Shah left, of course, speaks more eloquently than any memoirs uh, could, uh, could really present. There's no question that the, the Shah leaving Iran is a tragedy, a personal tragedy for him, a tragedy for the people of Iran who now are suffering uh, repression much greater than they had before, who have four million at least unemployed and runaway inflation, uh, and a got under a government that is not really a government, it's really a mob. Uh, all these things have happened, but also it was, in addition to being a personal tragedy for the Shah, a tragedy for the people of Iran, it was certainly a tragedy for what we call the West, because what was Leadership and stability in that part of the world is now replaced by instability. Do you blame the current administration for not appreciating the, what the impact of this fall would be? Well, without getting into specifics, I would say uh, that the conduct of the current administration, uh, in so far as the handling of uh, the Shah and Iran and so forth, I think is open to very serious question. I, uh, I, I know it was difficult, uh, I, and I'm not questioning uh, the motives of the administration. I'm sure they did not want the Shah to fall. Uh, but I think that uh, the way that it was handled uh, contributed to uh, the Shah, the small, the up and down the hill, one day saying they supported him, the next day leaking a story that they did not. And as a result, the forces uh, which were anti-American, anti-West, uh, of course, came into power. But beyond that, I think that the treatment of the Shah by the administration uh, after he left was shameful. Uh, it is uh, one of the black pages in American foreign policy history. Uh, and I think that President Sadat's guts in uh, providing a home for the Shah for his last days at a time that the United States turned its back on one of its friends it is an inspiration to us all. Thank you. Thank you very much. How do you see things becoming different when Mr. Reagan takes over as president? Well, I, I realize uh, that many here would be interested in my evaluation of the campaign, uh, and I do have some thoughts about that. Uh, obviously, uh, I was very impressed by Governor Reagan, while he was governor of California, and when he went on foreign missions for the administration, several when, uh, while I was president. I think he handled himself extremely well at his convention. But beyond that, I think it's inappropriate to get into any what would be called political comments at a time that I'm here basically for a funeral. So I'll defer my comments on Governor Reagan uh, until a later time. But I was incidentally glad to see that Governor Reagan had the courage to uh, do something that the administration did not do, and that is uh, whatever people may have thought of the Shah, uh, 
whatever faults he had, and he was hard on himself when I saw him in Mexico. He didn't think, he realized he'd made mistakes, as we all do. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, the administration